Hello, Storyteller, Storytelling Run. I'm going to go through Foundry, how to run it for, for, for the Lord RPG. Because we need more Grand Ministers um, online, on YouTube. This is an, a ministry, an evangelism tool. I think. I'm having, and I'm having a blast doing it. I'm getting better and better at it, and you just got to keep doing it until you just, you know. All right, let's go through uh, how to use Foundry. Let me um, put in my freaking password. And then, um, <clears throat> all right. So this is the world or where you start off. You will not have any of these on here, okay? And I'm gonna actually gonna delete this one because I was messing around with this and I'm gonna start over again. E okay. All right. So I have, this is my old D&D, &D, Star Wars ones. I even had other ones on here. I've deleted them because I only need, man, I only need the Fort Lord. I'm so hooked on Fort Lord RPG. I'm really enjoying it. Um, boom. Um, okay, so what do you need? You need a game system and add-on modules. So let me go over the game system. The game system you need, um, you know, as you can see, I have the 5e, D&D &D one, and the Star Wars one um, on here. I don't, they're probably broken now because I used to have all these modules to work with them. And so when you go to the modules, I'll explain it here in a sec. All right, first, game system. So you install a system. You click on this and you look for simple world building. This is the one you're going to need. This is like the default foundry one, I guess. I don't, I don't you know, that you need to have to create the world, I guess. Um, and then you need to get modules. And so I have starred the ones that I believe are the only ones I need. Um, don't need this one, actually. Let me remove that favorite. And I think there's another one I don't need. Uh, We're going to find out. Okay. But they're still there. I just, I'm starring the ones that I think you will need. And we're going to find out here in a sec. Dice so nice. Dice tray are the dice ones, which I, I don't know why we don't have more of those or why it isn't part of just foundry, but uh, dice, dice and dice, special dice roller. It gives you kind of extra stuff. Okay. Uh, I don't know all this stuff. Okay. I don't know what all this stuff is, but anyway, PDF pager definitely need that for the PDFs. Pointer, play, pointer and pings. I I like this one. I don't. There, the, a foundry now has a pointer pinger thing, but I don't know how to use it. And um, so I'm just going to use this this one. Quick scale, very handy. I use that a lot. It's the brackets, and you just it, you click on the little brackets on the keyboard, and it'll uh, scale up or down your token, which is really handy. Uh, I don't know what the simple world building is, but I go. I, I guess it's part of simple world building game system, so I've got it in there. Um. Socket lib is okay. Socket lib and lib wrapper in our uh, utilities that automatically load with the module that you, the other modules that I'm using the dice tray or dice. So I don't know which one, but one of them is using that or maybe stream view is using one of them. Actually, let me cl click on stream view. Uh, and these right here are to give you information about them that you can, let me just look real quick. Um, yeah, the, the, you know, it's got a whole bunch of stuff in here. I don't know what any of that is. Um, I know one of them, a couple of these in here need like the other utilities like lib wrapper and socket lib, but I don't remember which one. So whatever. I do have all of these installed uh, available for my worlds, but I don't have them installed yet into the specific worlds. I have to do that and I'll show you that in a sec. Uh, the, 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 plutonium is for D and D it's, it goes to some web, you know, the five E tools website that has all this, whatever stuff there. Uh, mana's mana is a uh, compendium import it imports like module information or whatever, but I don't use it anymore. Uh, status icon. These three are just handy, but I don't use, I don't need them for what I'm doing now. Cause I simplified the game, you know, pop out and makes a new window. Uh, status icon gives you, you know, ability to add numbers to your little tokens, but I don't need that anymore. Token Z kind of helps with, if you have so many different tokens in there, it helps you kind of layer them better, but I don't need it. Cause I don't need that. I don't get that complicated anymore. And, I really recommend you minimal minimalism in Foundry. You minimalism because the problem is that sometimes Foundry will update or you'll get the new update and then the, the the modules stop working and so you your campaign is broken or whatever you whatever bells and whistles you decided to add to it enough special effects get broken and it's like <sighs> forget it. Uh, so keep it simple. That's what I got here. So game system, simple world building, add on modules. Here's a little list. You might need. The lib, lib color settings and math GIS are the other utility ones, which I don't know if those 
are connected to the any of these other ones or not, but we'll find out here in a minute. But these are the ones I've got installed right now. Again, don't you definitely don't need the plutonium manus companion one. Uh, and oh, this one D, that's D and D Beyond, which you don't need. So I might just get rid of them um, here at some point. But I still have the the the, the D and D worlds in there. I, I don't plan on opening them up again though. Um, and chances are, when I open them, they're going to be broken anyway because they're they're outdated. Okay, so there's that, you know, thing. I had some bells and whistles in there and lighting effects and all that. I bet you they don't work. But anyway, all right, let me create a new world. New world, delete me. Delete me world. And you got to have the game system, which is uh, simple world building, and that's it. And create your world. Wow, well, hit play. Drink some coffee. Okay, uh, just a game master. I'm not, I don't put in passwords. I don't uninterested uh no don't, don't need it whatever getting started okay whatever i don't really read any of that so first modules let's do the modules oh sorry let me slow down a little bit here under gears a couple of setting things you're going to have to do here on the right the first one is manage modules click on manage modules dice so nice dice tray uh pdf pager okay this one needs lib wrapper let me write these down just for my own Edification of which ones I need. Lib wrapper. Okay, I need lib wrapper. Yes. Uh, PNP. Okay. I don't. This pointers is an older one, which or another one, which I don't like. I'll, I'll take the PNP one. Uh, quick scale. Love that one. Simple world building plus. Okay. Special dice roller. I I think I need that one. I'm not sure. Let's see. Let me turn that one off. I want to see if I need that one. And stream view. And that one uses lib wrapper and socket lib. So the other ones I don't need. I don't need math.js and I don't need lib color settings. Okay. I don't need those two. So I'll probably uninstall those. I just, I don't know what special dice will, if I need that or not, but let me see real quick. Um, and so save model settings. Okay, yeah, that's fine. It'll reload the thing. Okay. So this is the pointer and this, let me close this is here anyway under under the gears what's it called game settings configure settings uh you can go in here and do the uh this thing see here it is under setting you can change the colors you know all that stuff under this okay and for all of these you can change stuff right you're like the dice so nice here we are have the 3d dice settings uh you can change the colors you know all that stuff and you can add special effects here. If you roll uh, D20, it's plus, you know, add the add the effect. Result of a one. Whoops. Yeah, take that off. Result of one. And gets the epic fail sound. Okay. Oops, save. Whatever. I'm, rollable area is kind of cool. You can set the oops, you can set the area where it roll the dice rolls. You know, like you just want it in this little square. Uh out of this how do i how do i say done oh here apply okay okay and maximum number of dice whatever you can get all these other settings in here now under core here let me go to core um i don't really touch much of this i don't think or maybe i do i can't remember if i did or not but i do like to under performance here bring that down just for other people and i only need a little bit i don't even need that much so i turn it down to 10 frames uh, performance mode low because I don't use any of the lighting effects. I don't, you know, I'm not I'm, that way people with, you know, smaller, weaker computers or weaker connections. Um, you know, you can have less, you don't have to worry about it too much. Um, you know, you can change all this stuff on, you know, it's lots of weird stuff in here. Um, one, oh, one thing I definitely want to get rid of if it's on here, I don't see it on here. Maybe it's, there used to be a ton of stuff in here. Where is it? Uh, I don't know what simple world building is. Oh, I don't even use initiative. Um, I'm going to go to stream view in a minute, but let me just go over some other things. Okay. Configure settings. There might be something else in there. I don't know what. Okay. So active modules nine. That's all I've got. Okay. Special dice roller. I want to, oh, let me look at the dice real quick. Uh, we have a dice tray here at the bottom. And I think that's really... Yeah, I don't need that special dice roller, I don't think. I could see the frame rate was pretty low there. 
I can tell the frame rate was really choppy because I turned it down to, let me turn it back up just because I'm, <laughs> but you, people on the other end of their, that join you, they can do this as well. They can go in and, and turn this uh, uh, down if they want. I'm going to put it back to maximum because <laughs> I'm spoiled, but they can turn this down on their end as well. If their computers are, you know, feeling a little slow or whatever. Da, 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 da. And there's your dice. Oops, did I? I don't recall hitting roll. Okay. Got it. Now turn off. Okay, let me do this again. Roll. Okay. So there's the dice rolls. Um, I don't know if I had a special effects or anything. You can also type in dice rolls, like, uh, I forgot if it's this, d20, is that right? Yeah. There's, so there is some scripting stuff you can do, d20 plus d4, and you can even do, like, forward slash roll, uh, d20 minus d4. Okay. And then the biggest one I have for the game, for RPG, or for the little RPG is D20. Uh, this is the D12. If you happen to have D6, uh, a D12, D6 skill in something like um, sword, well, D20 plus aggression plus, let's say, four plus their skill, D12, D6, you know, they could have a D12, D6 skill in it. So that's really good. But it's keep the highest, KH. Well, let me see if this works. Um, so this is their like to hit D20 plus their four aggression plus their skill of D12 D6 because they they went up to D12 and then they added more and they went up to D6 because they want to be super good. But that's to keep the highest now. It's not. Let me see if that works. So it should be 12 plus four. Uh, 11 plus six is 17 plus their four. Yeah, 21. Okay, so that worked. Yay. All right, so that's how they use skills now. All right. What are we doing here? This is obviously a blank screen and you cannot do anything in this blank screen. I cannot add an actor. Let me let me do an actor real quick. This is, the actors is kind of where you're gonna be the most, I would say. Um, I created a missionary. Let me just click on here. The ass, oh, I forgot to show you the assets. Let me show the assets real quick. I have to close out. Okay, um, just a sec. I gotta pause and I'll show you the assets. Where to put those. Okay. I'm back at the, I closed it out. You could just close it. It saves automatically. And I'm, and I restarted, um, um, I get that right? the foundry. Okay. Under here, under, uh, this thing here, configure here is where I put my data. Okay. You, you can kind of, I think there's a default or whatever, C whatever. Um, but I put it under this. Okay. So all the foundry data is there. All right. So that was under the, uh, configure up here on the right. So in that folder is all of my data. Let me, um, let me go to that. Hold on. I'll show you that real quick. Okay. Under D gaming studio founding data. Here's all my data or whatever my stuff. I, these, I don't know why these are here. I don't know if screen grabs or whatever, but under data, here's where, um, my crusader RPG and the tokens are, uh, maps, this is my old D&D stuff here. But um, this is the folder I made with all of my um, Dark Ages tokens. And you can use them in the sci-fi APOC one as well. Um, this is the new stuff, but this is the original. And here's the missionaries. Ba -da -da -da. Okay. I got some messed up sizes here, but whatever. They're all WebP files, which is much smaller and handier. Um, and you create this. You create... well. Founder creates this, but then you put in your folders if you want. And here's my scores. Here's my sound ambience, my Star Wars. You know, I just put these put these folders in here. And this is where Foundry will look first for anything you want. You can have it somewhere else, um, and then and then upload it. But then it'll bring it into here. So like these ones, I do believe I found somebody or somewhere else, and then it just dumped it in here after once it grabs it. So you kind of just be aware of that. These PDFs here, I I'm, I'm use those in the game. I've used them for whatever reasons. And here they are, pop, plopped in here. Like these ones here um, are some character sheets for some kids. And I grabbed them off of 
some yeah temp file and then it just copies it and puts it in here so all the data for foundry will be put in here so it's best to put that in here automatically and then it'll just use it okay so these are all this is my goblin fortress one but I have some other stuff in here i don't know what but um here's where it is and you you when you win zip when you when you if you get the win zip or zip files of mine or the win wars of mine and you unzip them you're gonna you're gonna create them and unzip in, in here okay so that you have them handy okay that's where that is i'm gonna back open this back up again game master oh let me show you this you create under under Game settings, user management is where you're going to create additional players. And those players, I don't put passwords in, will come in, join, and they'll see this list. And then they pick their name or whatever. Uh, also, there's a streamer, which I will show you in a minute, or maybe I'll show you now. And rejoins the game. Okay, and the streamer is this module down here, stream view. Um, I mean, you could use it. You could use a player name if you want, but I will use that as my for capturing the stream view for uh, capturing the game for the YouTubing, uh, you know, for the streaming and invitation links. This is the local network one, which I would use for stream view. And then this is the one you send to your players, uh, you know, to join from somewhere else. Oh, if you just click on it, it'll copy. Okay. And let me just show you real quick. Uh, let me open up my Chrome. Put that, I copy and paste that network, local network. Let me bring it in here real quick. And this will be a uh, streamer. Join game session. Whatever. Freaking player pronouns. Whatever. Okay. This is going to show you uh, what, your, your, or this is the window I use to capture uh, for streaming. And it, uh, actually, I, I, in the settings, I got to turn off the stuff on the right. At least, at least this top stuff. You can keep the chat window, and I turn off the other things, and I turn off everything else, like all this other stuff. Let me do that real quick. Let me just move that out of the way. Um, under configure settings, stream view. Um, disable. Yeah, don't need that. I don't remember what all do you do here, but um, let me, I'm trying to remember. I, I, I turned off a bunch of stuff. Okay, I want chat, I want to show that one. I don't want to show any of the other part of the windows though. I don't need that. Uh, I don't do combat show. Okay, I don't need that or that. I don't know what those are anyway. Uh, I don't know what that is. High and pop me out's fine. Wait, let me see. Let's see what that does. I'm looking over here, it's still freaking on there. Uh, how do I hide all that stuff? I know I, I have done it. I have it on my other I just don't remember how to do it here. Uh come here. Settings, stream view. Directed? Yeah, okay. Then try, I like directed for that. Streamer. Oh, there. Let me try that. Okay, that one. There we go. Streamer view. I had to pick that one. So this now shows you the what the streaming view is, and it just has the, the, the chat window there. That's cool. Okay. And that's the game, you know, so this is what I capture um, instead of my GM screen for the, for the YouTube. Okay. I have this second window open somewhere else. Okay. That. Uh, all right. Let me close that out. Cause I don't need it for this. Okay. Um, let's make a character. All right. I made a missionary here or an actor. Click on this, go into my crusaders, RPG tokens, RPG, missionaries. Um, you can do this here. You can look, you know, the different views. Uh, let me grab this dude, Batum, right there. Now, this only is only for, um, this, this image here, 
is only for this. Just so you know. The actual image for the token is gonna to be under appearance, this. Now, when you load it here, it loads it here. Okay, so you have it automatically. What? I'm not talking to you, Siri. What the heck? I don't know what happened there. I just hit a button or something on my thigh. I don't even use Siri. Okay. Um, so this, 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 and this are the same. Image path is under appearance. And you get, you know, if you want to change it, you're going to grab, go in here and grab a new one. Okay. But it won't change this. So now they're separate. So if you change this, this is not going to change. And if you change this, this is not going to change. So be aware of that. When you, want, when you do it the first time, they'll both do it. But after that, you got to change yourself. Uh, this first one here, you don't need these, but this is the first one here is hit points or vigor, vigor. And this one is for me, defense. Like he'll probably have a 12. Now you don't know that yet. I, I sorry. Let me. I'm I'm stepping ahead here. All right. This dimensions here gives you the size of the grid of the token. Uh, this right here will give you the size of the token. This is just a visual thing. And like I said, it ha I have that upscale thing. That whatever. When I use the brackets, and that'll change this size right here. But it does it cool visu visually. So update token now. Um, randomize here. You can actually do. Uh, let me show you. You can actually do. It's kind of hard, but okay. See these three guys? I named them down here. Um, I know it's like 20%. I don't know why. I wish they would make this easier, but it's not. The, and this is, um, you can do wild card thing where you can randomize the image of these three. All you have, but at the very end here, you have to put an asterisk in. Okay. Select the uh, update token. I know I shouldn't be doing this. I gotta create a world now. I forgot because I can't put. See, I can't put the guy who's at, who's now the beast in in here because I don't have a world yet. Let me create a world real quick or a scene. Create scene. Okay, new scene. On uh, as you can see up here in the little map foldout is scenes. This is how you create your scenes. Okay, and um, under grid, do gridless. I just do gridless. I'm gonna make this big. Ten thousand. By, oh, not 1,000, 10,000, and I turn this off so that I can make it really widescreen by 5,000. See what that looks like. Uh, padding percentage, I kind of go low because that's the out, outer thing here. Okay, ooh, that's big and really widescreen. So 10,000 by, what did I do? Go here, configure on the right here. It, 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 uh, this up here is handy. It you know represents the ones that you want to use. You can toggle them on and off. Uh, it doesn't say it right there because I think there's only one scene. But oh, there's so much information. Okay, under basics, you can put here uh, GM sees this only. Right? No. Okay, the bottom one. Players will see this. New scene, evil trap. Okay. So players will see this. See at the top there? Oh, it's covered by my thing. But anyway, ah, let me move that. Point. Okay. Um, players will see this. So you see that tab there? You can have a bunch of different, create a scene. Let me just create another one. La la la. Whatever. I'm, I'll, I'll figure it out later. But let me see. There it is. Boom. Now, uh, I can toggle, so I can turn this, the toggle means it's there or not there. Toggle, if I can move off of it, and then it, it goes off, okay? I can look, view the scene, and it'll, it'll, if I view the scene, only I, the GM, will view it. Over here, view the scene. If I activate it, everybody jumps in there. I force all the players into it, okay? If I toggle it, I turn it, I keep it back, I keep it on there. It's not toggled right now, so when I go back to this one, it should go back, yeah, disappear. But if I toggle it, it'll be on there until I untoggle it. Okay, so, uh, and then you can, you can, I as a GM can jump back and forth, but you can see the target there. Yeah. You see the target on the player one? Yeah. That means that um, the players can see that one and they're there right now. Or they'll, you know, 
there's no there's no users. There's little G is me, but there's none of them. Uh, let me um let me make a little player uh to to join. I go back to my invitation links, grab my little network one there, my local network. I will put them over here. Um, so I have a player in there, not the streamer, just a player. He's joining the session. So P, there's P, the player. Okay. Now I, as a GM, can go to the, each of these scenes, you know, and work on them, whatever. The player will only see this. He will not see new scene evil trap. That's that is under config is at the top, and players will see this. But this option is only there if you choose to use it. If you don't use it, everyone will see the top one. Just so you know. Uh, navigation name is for this navigational tab up here. So that's an option. You got to figure it out. It's, but I'm just showing you the basics. Like, I mean, not figure it out. You got to get used to it. Which, which one is which make must you'll make mistakes and they'll see the wrong name and blah, blah, blah. Okay. On the right here are the scenes in the scenes. You can create folders, you know, here folder, you can create, um, original and you can create, um, this campaign that way. When you have new scene evil trap, you can duplicate it. And this one, uh, this campaign means like you made an original s scene, but you don't want to change it when they play. Cause you might use it over and over again. So you can put this one in this campaign and new seat, put it in original, you know? So th this is the original one. And this is the one for this campaign. Like it's kind of hard to read that, but, um, open this up more. Uh, and then this one is under folder. So you can do all these different folders and you can copy and paste, you know, the scenes so that, that you'll have different, uh, versions of it, like the original untouched scene. And then the players go into it and destroy everything seen, whatever, or convert everything seen. Okay. And when you, if you want them to come to, um, the FFF scene, you activate it and then the players will move over to that scene. Now, in order for the players to go though to, oh, let me, let me configure something under lighting. This will make them see darkness unless theirs is oops under actors. This missionary here, I'll watch this missionary is going to be, ah, see, it's going to be this guy, right? Cause I changed them on seeing how it's wild now, wild card. Let me change that. Um, Okay. Prototype prototype token is very important. Make sure if you're using a missionary, um, you gotta have this clink. Uh, I mean a character, a player character, make sure you have link actor data on because that will always link them to every scene, right? So it's always every scene. If you have a, a just a pagan warrior, like an NPC minion, um, that you don't need this link, right? Because it's just a minion for that scene, right? It's not going to, you're not going to carry it over and over to, to the next scene. If it's a super villain, then you're going to do that, right? So let me do that real quick. Just, just type in a super villain, super villain. I respell it. I might spell it wrong here. Whatever. On a prototype token, you're going to link the actor because that, that villain is going to be carried over from scene to scene. Okay. Let me, Fix something here. Uh, this one, I'm going to do these beast guys, right? And the prototype under appearance, I'm going to do the randomized link or wild cards. Go down here at the bottom. I don't know. I wish it was a little more simplified than this. Like put the little asterisk. See that 20% there. It added to the stupid name, which it shouldn't, but it does. But at the very end, I got to take off the one because it's, it's beastman one, beastman two, beastman three, and put that asterisk there. Blah. That should work. Update token. Bump. Bump. So you get some, you know, variations. Now, all oh, those numbers here represent, you can, you, you know, you can decide whatever you want, but if this, this is, if down here is like the hit points, the vigor, then I can easily, when, whenever somebody hits him and oh, he took, he takes five damage minus five. And then this goes to a five. So that's, that's handy for this bottom one here. Um, plus five, plus five. 10. So that's handy for this number right here. This is the original. And this is the, oh, let me, let me, um, minus five, minus five. And see five is 10. This one, same thing, but I, I just use this one for defense there, you know, like a 
probably have a 14 defense. So he's a 14 defense. That's to hit. I, I really don't even use that anymore. I just, cause I already know their defense or I usually just open up and see what, 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 what they, what they'll have. So aggression four, awareness two, whatever defense is 14, you know, armor save is the hot leather there, leather furs, um, claw plus four does D six damage. Okay. That's kind of all I do for minions. I just have it handy in there. I type it in. Um, oh, and this is not, okay. Here's another lesson. See how it says token there. That means it's just the token in the scene. It is not the main token up here. So this shouldn't, yeah, see, so it doesn't have it under the prototype token that you got to be aware of that too in this game. Prototype token is very important to token. If you're just messing around with the tokens in the scene, that's fine. You can just type it in here and, and it'll just be for that token. So if you delete this, all this information will be gone. Okay. If you want this information to be for all minions, you got to copy paste it and put You got to put it under the prototype token here. Okay. Now save. Let me see these. Yeah, see, so these now open up and have the same info. Now watch this. If I change this to blah 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 blah, save it. You gotta save it on uh, in this in this instance. I think. Let me see. Maybe I, I I don't know if I have to use the save button anymore. I know they sort of. Let me make this one different. Uh, let me close that. Let's see if that saved. It did. Okay, so I before you had to save it using the save thing. Uh, but now I think they, they they decided to go ahead and do automatic save because everything else is kind of automatic save in this game. So I think they they fixed that. So that's kind of cool. But this one still has that bad word one here. Um, and then this one is the regular now. But under soup, this one, it's the regular. Let me put in over here. Does this change scene ones? Uh, save. Let me see. Okay, there's that one. What about this guy? Yeah, he stays the same. Because, I, I guess because I changed them, I have customized them. So only the one that I haven't even touched will change to that token. Okay, so you got to be aware of that in this thing. Make sure that when you want something that's uh, permanent and that you can use over and over, it's in the prototype. If, you, if you've got something going on in here, you know, that's unique and custom, you're going to just type it in this under token. Okay? That's for the minions and stuff. For uh, the missionary, I gotta change this back. Prototype token. Go back to appearance. And go back to the missionaries. Take this off, it's not randomized. Update token. Prototype. Boom, and then you have your missionary, okay? Um, and he's gonna take these on. He's gonna preach to them and convert them all, okay. And this is the handy little uh, upscale. See, that's how he's going to defeat him. He's got his magic spell giantism. No. For the Lord becomes big they, to them. And same with these. You know, I can make this. I can adjust. The, okay, this guy looks a little smaller. I make this the big boss guy. If he's the big boss, I'm going to go ahead and change this to, you know, aggression six. Make him tougher. Uh, claw plus six. You know, D8 damage. Uh, oops, D8 damage. Where do I put his vigor? Oh yeah, right here, vigor, which is hit points. Make that a 16, he's tough, super tough. Okay, that kind of thing. And let me just close it and see if it saves it. Yes, okay. But it won't change these other ones. And it won't change the minion. And this one obviously won't change any of these now because I think I customized them all in the scene. Uh, game pause, very important. Unpause it for when you start the game. And there. Okay. Oh. Then, another thing. Conf missionary. Hope you're still with me. <laughs> I told you this was so simple. All right. Configure ownership. Um, see, this right here is important. So, player two is going to be the owner of this missionary. Or let's make him a name. And then streamer is going to be an observer. I actually will have actually everybody be an observer. So this will be default. The default for all is observer. But player two is the owner. The reason I like observer so that, you know, everyone sees everybody else in the, in the thing. Um, and let's rename this guy just to make him. 
layer two, layer two guy on the prototype. <clears throat> okay. That's how you make actors, uh, minions. And, and, and for, for the NPCs, it's very easy just to type in the stats because they're very simple. For players, let's go to players now. <coughs> let's do the PDFs under sheet. Oh, I got to set up the PDF. All right, here we go. Under configure settings, PDF pager. All right, here's the little tricky part. Sorry, guys, but got to get this set up. Under actor character sheet, we have to pick the PDF, and the PDF is in here, I hope. Uh, do it this way. You can you can do the list here. Character sheet for the Lord, fillable, okay? So that there, you got to put in um, foundry data. Remember the, the, the folder with, that has all this stuff? There is the character sheet for the Lord, fillable, okay? Or the APOC one. And I do need to update these, um, but yeah, see, you can see all these other ones here are for the Christians in space, uh, some other stuff here that I kind of messed around with, and I put them in there. You can actually choose them from, you know, somewhere else if you want, but it'll, I think it, it'll copy them into here. I'm not sure. I, I think that's what it does here. I'm not sure. Okay. So for the Lord, fillable, select file. So under PDFs for actor sheets, and I don't, I'm not using the other ones, just this one. Uh, you, you set that up. Okay. I don't know what the 20% thing is. It's kind of annoying, this percentage thing there, but it just throws that in there. You know, whatever, if you guys <coughs> know what that is all about. Save changes. All right. Now, under actor, I can now go to sheet. <coughs> and there it is, PDF sheet. Okay. Boom. That's all you need. Oh, you can do default. Yeah, let's do default. Because I guess every time it opens, it'll do. No, I don't want to do default. I don't want to do default there. Just this one, and I'll show you why here in a sec. Now you have a character sheet, okay? And I would, for the players, I would recommend that they always have it on a piece of paper and then update it on here for now. I don't know, I don't have confidence in this, and obviously they should have their own paper version of the character. Um, and then just put on here, some, I appreciate them putting it on here so that I can see it, um, but, I, but for sure have it on a piece of paper for themselves. And then here, if they want, you know, there's no shortcut handy dice rolls or nothing off of this. It's just, just info and they can, and another thing I noticed is, okay. Uh, player two guy, if I don't, let me see what happens here. I'm going to close this. It's my, see how my cursor is still in there. I'm going to close that. Oh, it's under token. So it's not even going to work. Right. Wait, this should have been, um, let me see. Why isn't this this sheet? Yeah. So where is it? What did I? Oh, I did it here. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. I guess I was over here. Okay. Oh, I hear my wife. I got to go do this. All right. But I got to. I'm working on the PDFs thing. Okay. I'll be right back. Sorry, I had wife's things to do. Okay. Uh, PDF. Uh, okay. So the PDF is here. So obviously it's not here in this token. So you just have to delete this guy boom, and bring in the new guy. And there it is. And you can see that it didn't save my freaking uh, name thing because I, let me try it again. Blah, blah, blah. Now I'm doing, I'm going to do the same thing again. I did. I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm, my cursor is still in there. Close. Not there. Not there. Okay. Now this one should be connected to the main PDF guy, but let me, uh, player two guy now hit enter or move it out of that. You got to move it out of that, um, uh, form, close it. Oop, not there, there it's in there, but it should be in here too. Do I hold on a sec? See now that's something to test. Okay. Link actor data. I forgot to do that for some reason. Let me check it here. Okay, it's not, yeah, I forgot to turn this one for some reason. Okay, link actor data. Yeah, that's gotta be on. Token name, now this name doesn't, like, see how it says player two guy up here and then there's this one here, this, it's, I, you know, it doesn't update. So this, this token name here is the one you're gonna see on the screen. So player two dude, oops, never displayed. I always like to put it on as always for everyone. And link data on, appearance is, that token, um, 
Vision. Do not enable the vision. Ignore the rest of these. You don't need any of them. This is all for lighting and darkness and fog. So definitely don't have this one enabled. Because if you do, then it'll be, he'll come in dark because I don't have any lights in the scene. Okay. So don't have that on. So the only thing you need to be concerned about is these first two, appearance and identity. Okay. Update token. Let me see. What did I do here? I can't remember. Okay. All right. This one. Okay. So this guy is not connected to the main dude. Okay. See that? What happened here? Oh, refresh. You made these. Uh, system. I don't know what this is. Oh, I must have clicked on one of these things because um, there's little extra things going on here, which I don't, I don't use any of this. Let's see, inspect data. Okay, that was why I could uh, inspect data, which I don't use. I, I don't know what all these extra things are here. Custom PDF. I don't know what that is. I don't use it. Um, I'm sure I could, but whatever. Okay, PDF sheet there. Prototype. Let's, I got to delete this guy because he's still not, this guy, there he is. He got the thing that popped up. Uh, oh, his name's not in there. Oh, that's because I had it on the other guy. Okay, let me do it on this guy now. Let me this. Okay, I opened up this guy, not this guy, right? But they're they're linked now, so this will work. Player two, dude. But I got to remember to move out. I don't need to just to remember. I got to move out of that box. All right, I did it for this. Player two dude, but it's going to be for this guy now. Player two dude. Okay. So they're linked. They're linked under prototype token, link data. Okay. Link actor data here. Oops. Token link actor data. Okay. Oh, token name rep represented actor. Oh, okay. <coughs> oh, represent actor. Player two. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, okay. So that's cool. So this, oh, wow. I can, I didn't even know I had this. I can change it to one of those guys up there, obviously. Uh, but I don't really touch that. I just know that this is this, you know? All right, super villain, same thing. If I want to <clears throat> link to actor, actor data, um, always for, for every, I, or I could not do always for everyone. That's optional if you want them to see the name of the person. Update token. Oh, and this thing here, um, um, turn suspicious and hostile. I don't use any of that, you know, because, um, I mean, I, sometimes I'll switch them, but it doesn't, doesn't really matter to me for this game. Cause it's just, you know, I don't use any, like, like I said, I try to use little, little of this game as possible. Okay. Um, I do use these for sure for the, especially for the NPCs, the characters, I kind of let them just do whatever they want. As far as these things, I don't use any of this other stuff, by the way, none of these other things on the side. Uh, I don't need to. Okay, so there's that. Super villain. Oh, let me let me at least give this guy who's a super villain guy. Uh, Crusader RPG token pagans. Super villain. A super villain would be a continuing villain. There we go. Super villain. Okay. And I can. Um, this is corny, but under I appearance, I can flip them. Oh, you can change the color, you know, and then the opacity, which I've used these on occasion, especially if they're like burnt or dead or black, you know, I will, um, do that. See how it gets a darker like that. And then I flipped it. Uh, I, oh, if you right click on the token, it'll open up the, um, configure thing. Um, and uh, okay. Obviously it doesn't store it for this. I don't, I, I think appearance wise, it's not going to store it. Um, but the other thing here, it should, because I think they're linked. Identity, yeah, it's linked. So what I type in here, it's, here, it's, it's not the prototype, it's the regular token. So what I type in here, blah, 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 should stay. Yep, and it should be under there, yep. But obviously the appearance thing doesn't change. Okay, and I can make them bigger. Oh, it reverses. Ah. I think it reversed because I, uh, it flipped it back because of the, um, I think whatever the scripting is for the super scale or the handy scale thing there, uh, flipped it back to the regular way, which is fine. And as you can see this, this, I won't do it. Let me close this. Now it'll do it. 
change the size. If I flip it, I gotta do it in here. Flip. Yeah. And it goes back to whatever. That's just a quirky thing. Okay, so hopefully I've explained the, how to use the actors. In the scene, I'm gonna, now I need to set up a scene or at least put the scene in here. Uh, so let me explain that. Oh, and, he, and here you can create folders, right? You can create players. Uh, you can create beasts, you know, or minions or whatever, you know, however you want to move them around. Another handy thing is you can right click on this tab up here and open it up another window so you can, and you can move things around this way if you want. Like, you know, if you, especially if you, if you get a ton of characters or actors in this list, then you, you might need another folder to just be handy to, um, move things around for you. Okay. I, I don't use combat encounters. That's for, that's for initiative stuff. I don't need that anymore. I just, we just have fun and play on the screen. Um, so the only ones I really use are these three, the, the, the chat messages for rolling dice and all that, the scene one here and the actors. I don't really use, I don't use any of these other ones. I don't need them. Uh, items is for D and D and whatever. That's if like, you know, plus seven sword is in under there and then you can drag it into your character sheet, whatever. Uh, I do use the music one, but that one is a pretty self-explanatory. You can figure that one out later. I can, I'm not going to go through that one right now. Um, or maybe we'll at the end, but companion packs don't need that. You might want to check it out. I don't know. I don't know. I used it before. Don't use them now. And this is just to, uh, minimize it. Okay. And obviously the game settings is another one. Okay. So we're going to go to now the props for the maps, how to make a map in here. Um, you can put a, what are we on here? We're, well, let me activate this one. Cause I think that's where we're at. We're not in this one. As you can see, we're in this one. Okay. And I'm brought the player back in here and this is that player. Can he? Oh, he's, he's in the dark. I'm looking. Okay. See, he's in the dark. Oh, and this is his mouse thing or my mouse thing rather. Um, which I want to turn off. I don't like those things. Oh, hold on. I'm going to go help my wife real quick and I will be back with this, uh, doing this lighting thing. Okay. Oh, wife thinks. Okay. Uh, wow. Okay. So this is not good. This is, um, this is what the player sees and I got to fix this. Um, and I, I know why, but I, I'm wondering why, because I thought I had this all turned off. So uh, vision is not enabled. And the reason it's not enabled, or I got this wrong, is because I thought that um, with this scene, which one are we in? <laughs> okay, so this is the normal scene, which is this one here, not the new evil, like it should be in this one because that's where I'm playing them, but I, I did that wrong. You know, like like this is the uh, not touch scene, but it, you know, that the, the, the original scene. And then this one would be the one where I mess everything up, you know, and, and have them go in and do whatever. But whatever, let's just go back to this one. Uh, so token vision, maybe I, these need to be off. Let me see. Either these need to be off or that one needs to be on. Let me just do this one first. Okay, so that they need to be off. Okay, so configure uh, lighting off. Okay, so as you can see now, no problem. They all can see. Okay. All right. Now, this is my mouse that he sees. I, I don't know why this is so, it looks better. Let me see. Um, I'm going to move him. I'll explain this in a minute, but, but this is, uh, what he sees a little bit better. Da, 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 da. I'll explain the pointer here in a sec. Um, okay. So you can see this is player two right here. This is his, um, uh, his pointer, but I want to turn those off because I don't like I don't like those in the in the screen. So that is where core configure permissions here. Yeah, here's where it is. So under game settings, open permission configuration. The only thing I want to do in here is turn off the 
um, mouse pointer. See the mouse pointer. Where is that? Display mouse cursor. I don't like those. Turn this off. Save. Okay. So now. Yeah. Can't see the mouse anymore of each other. So it's, I, I don't like those because I just don't like those. Visually and all that. Okay. <clears throat> All right, we got that done. Um, was I talking about PDFs or anything? I don't think so. The new maps. All right. <clears throat> uh, oh, you can copy these. I'm going to copy these and I'm going to put them into this scene. There they are. And I'm going to go back to the original scene and I'm going to delete these. Actually, I'm going to keep, I'm going to delete the player because the villain obviously is going to be in there. Let me turn him back to normal. Boom. And so back to normal. Okay. So, cause this is the setting, you know, um, now to make the map pieces for the map, the scenes. Okay. Here we go. A whole new thing here. Sorry. Tiles, tiles under tiles. Oh, all the stuff here on the left. Let's, let's go over this real quick. This one is your token control, right? And all you need is the bracket one, right? To select and use. I do not use any of the rest of them. I don't need this one targeting or whatever. I don't need the ruler. We don't need to measure that much. It's just like, um, yeah, that's, that's close enough or that's short range. Sure. Why not? You know, oh, <laughs> there you're in medium range now. That's a bit far. It's going to take you two turns to get there. One, oops, one, two. Okay. So I don't use any of these measurement things here. I don't use this stuff. Okay. So you don't, you don't have to, I mean, you can, if you want there to see the feet. Okay, I don't use any of that. Just go back to brackets under token control. Ruler, again, don't need it. Don't need any of this stuff, you know, explosions or whatever. Uh, that's under ruler here, and I want to get rid of that. How do I get rid of it? Just delete it. Delete it. How do I? See? Delete. Okay. Don't, you, don't use the ruler measurement controls, okay? Tile controls, I definitely, as the GM, use. Definitely use this one. I don't, I'm looking at the thing here. I don't even know what this is. I, all I use is the folder and the brackets, the folder and the brackets mainly. I don't know what this foreground layer. Okay. Whatever folder. Boom. Opens up your folder and you get your stuff. Crypt. Uh, uh, for some reason I made a props folder and then a, and all you do is drag them in. Okay. Whatever, whatever, um, map pieces. And this is called tiles. Okay. The entrance to the tile. I'm I can okay. Mouse wheel out. Zooming out with my mouse wheel. Uh, pan with the second mouse, and select. And you got to have the brackets here up on the left to select these things. You can resize them. Oops, it's a little tricky. You can resize them. Use Alt. I think yeah. Alt keeps it the ratio correct. Um, you can you know select the box. Resize all of them. Nope. I thought I could resize all of them. That's strange. Nope. Okay. Anyway, so there they are. Um, see, I put them in like that. Now he's going to fall. Fall. More fall. Dot. Entrance. Well, I guess he goes, climbs up. Climbs up. Climbs up. New one. Okay. Here's a door. Now, obviously, when they play the game, or when they come to this encounter, okay, so right click, hide. Okay, that's important. The other one is this up and down thing. So you can put one in front of the other. Like, okay, I want this in front of, you know, behind, in front of, behind, in front of. Okay, that's it. And hidden. That's all I use. So when they come in, uh, um, when they come adventuring, you know, as they go into the place, I light up with their lights. Obviously, I have lights. Then these appear out of nowhere. And so on their screen, they will see them appearing. Okay. And this is the original. Let me put this guy back here. The big guy here with one extra. 
and two guards outside. Let me put, um, go to here. Let me go to forest and put some trees out here. Bushes and rocks. Okay, so that's, you know, and that's the basic setup of the encounter. Obviously in this one, let me go back to this one. I have this, I'm gonna delete it cause I don't need it. Delete that scene, go back to this one, the original scene. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this one. Put it in this campaign. It's in there, okay. I'm gonna go to it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna activate that one. There it is. I'm gonna get rid of this one. This is because this is just the original scene that I don't want touched. See, I can actually move these around too up here. I think it's kind of clunky, but I can do it. I can shift them over. I think well, I was able to. Should be able. To, uh, whatever. I can, I can, but maybe there's not enough up there to do it. Okay, so I'm in this. I'm in this folder right here. I do believe. Yeah, because I can't view it, so it's already being viewed. Let me go to that one. Then I can view it. Yep, view. Okay. And I'm going to bring in my character and he's got to deal with them. Okay. This one, um, the only other one I use is the drawing tools. And this one is, you know, just like I, the only thing I really use it for is drawing a rope roads, maybe pathways. Uh, let me delete that. And uh, I got to go to brackets at the top, select it, delete it. I, I use this little cursive looking one here, draw freehand like this. Okay. Uh, the brackets, select it, and then I can change the color in here. Uh, this one lines, let me change it to more of a pathway color. Make it, uh, I don't know, 30. So a pathway, see that? It's kind of hard to see it, I guess, on screen. You can do that. Um, you can draw shapes, you can draw other stuff, but that's the only one I really use is the freehand one. I do not use the notes or any of these wall controls or lighting, uh, ambient sound controls, I, journal notes. I don't use any of that stuff. I, in order to make notes, this is just an extra handy thing. Um, uh, GM scene notes. The reason I say scene notes is, or actually, let me, okay. I want, I like to make this into a book. So just show you core data, icons, SVG book. Yeah, cool. I know this is core data, icons, SVG in there are the generic, whatever, uh, icons. So now I have GM scene notes. And the reason I name it GM scene notes is because I know what I'm doing it is I am not linking actor data. Okay. Not linking it. Since I'm not linking it, the only info of, of that is going to be in the scene itself. I like to hide this so that the players don't see this book sitting here on the map there. It's hidden. And I like to put in here, um, uh, door trap, you know, TR tw trial rating 12, to see awareness, um, or poison needle, no poison gas, poison puff, blast D six in the area, TR 12 poison minus D six. So if they fell, they're at minus D six coughing, whatever. And that won't end until they figure out a way to clear their, the poison out of them, you know, the coughing, hacking poison. Uh, you know, I can just write cough. Affliction. Cough, burning eyes, affliction, burning eyes, affliction. Save or close. So this is going to go right here. And it's going to be based on this door specifically. So that's why I have that there. Um, I mean, I could, I could put under here appearance, oops, identity, um, Poison, poison door. Just to remind myself. 
always for owner. So just for me, always for owner. I'm the owner. Update by default. Poison door. So the player won't see that. Let me show you right here. See? The player won't see it. <clears throat> they don't see that. They don't see the caves. Oh, they do. Oh, they see the tokens out there. I got to hide those. Move that back out of the way. It's, it's funny. It's better resolution over there on my 2K than on my 4K. But let me hide these tokens. Yeah, I got the token select. Got to remember to have the token selected up here. Hide. Hide. Okay. So the player only sees the, the, the bright things there. So that's how you set up the maps. Um... Got these things up here. This is all I use, um, except for music. Let me throw some music on you real quick, just to show you. Create playlist, okay, score. Uh, I don't know, whatever, basic, create new playlist. And bulk import, go back to user data, up here, user data. I have scores here, see that, scores. Curse of Strahd, fine. Select directory, directory, basic, Strahd. This is when I made the music for Curse of Strahd, but I never used it. So there they are, right there. And um, I always put these on loop, right? Because they're gonna play back. And then you can you can oh um, edit playlist, sequential playback. These are different. I forget which one is which. Um, shuffle tracks, you know, soundboard only. I, I forget which is which, but um, some of them will play it. Some of only one at a time, which I think that one is. Some will, you can play all of them, you know, at the same simultaneous. You can play all of them, whatever. I forgot which is which, but you'll figure that out. You, mess around with it but you can change the playback mode under under the edit playlist um yeah that tells you what it is you can add another one i guess on here um hit play it'll probably just start playing them whatever controls for that okay sometimes i have uh, sound effects you know but whatever you, i can just use my mouth <laughs> Okay, so that's, I think I covered all the basics. Uh, the chat, this is the dice rolls. Uh, macros is like, I, uh, um, you, don't, you don't really need them, but on the bottom left here. But the main one, let me just do this real quick. The main one you might need is um, D20. Uh, only if you have a skill that is, <clears throat> that has the, the double dice thing. You know, that you, or D4, uh, keep highest, you know. So, um, my um, battle axe super skill. So, you know, it, save macro. So, that one there, you can click on it, and it'll roll your battle axe with the double dice and pick the highest. The two there, yeah, get the two. So, 13, 14, 15, plus four is 19, yeah. So, it kept the two, okay? And that, and for the regular skills, you know, you could just do D20 plus a D4, like you have a D4 skill and two intellect, and that's your cooking skill, whatever, and roll that. Nat 20! You know, and um, I forgot to mention that too, under configure settings, dice, so nice, 3D settings, you can add special effects. So if I rolled, oh, I, oh, I did do this one, okay. So D20, if I did a nat 20, um, I could have epic sound, epic win. And you can, I think you can do custom stuff too. So if I were to roll the nat 20, you know, there would have been epic win sound played for that. Okay. Uh, I guess it's, there's a lot more here, but, but that's the basics. You know, this is the basics. This is what I use. Um, again, I try not to use I, I tried to use the journal entry stuff just to, to put stuff in here, but I found it just kind of annoying. And I just went, I'm just using the tokens. So literally you can make a token that is like the, you know, GM campaign notes. And this one is specific to the, um, to the campaign, like the one campaign, like maybe you got three campaigns going on in here. And this, where is it? FSVG, core data, icons. These are all different kinds of icons in there. SVG. Maybe you know, you know, you got different campaign. Camp you could, you could do this link actor data campaign uh, number one notes. 
so that these notes will be epic story campaign and it'll go on and on and on you know and so this one uh let me i'm gonna what's wrong so delete that put that in there so this one will be if, if, if you got the link actor data thing going on here it'll be the same one per you know if i whether i type it in here uh scene here if i type it here it should go into there but this one i did the poison door is not going to be in there because this one is specific to the scene and this one i just made for each for the for the entire campaign whatever campaign that is i'm doing it that way because i just want that this i don't want to deal with another thing here i just don't like this guy but you could you could, you, you could use this you know um epic campaign and this I just, I don't want to be relying on this. And this one, you can add pages. Um, first chapter. You know, blah, blah, blah. Closes. That'll be in there. And then you can have another chapter. Uh, let me go back. See, there's the first chapter. Add a page. Second chapter. Blah, blah, blah. And now you have these chapters, second chapter, first chapter. So you could, you could do that in here and make this whole epic thing here, you know, but again, I don't want all my info to be, um, in here, in here, you know, I, I prefer just having notes in here and then having all my stuff on my own separate. Okay. And I'm literally going to delete this, this world. So I don't need this. Um, all right, so I'm going to, all right, I might leave this in case I do one-on-one. -on -one. Any of you out there that are want to be a grand minister for For the Lord RPG and you want to use Foundry, I will help you one-on-one -on -one or do a YouTube. It'd be kind of cool if I could re-record it and put it up on YouTube for a Q&A kind of thing. Um, but I'm going to, obviously, this is going to be on YouTube for you to see. I'm, I got to, I, I got to like help and facilitate grand ministers. So as if you want to GM For the Lord RPG, I really uh, need GMs contact me. I will work with you like this one-on-one, -on -one. not on YouTube. If you don't, if you don't want to, that's fine. Or on YouTube. Um, I could record it so that other people could learn from it as well. But, um, I'm open to all of that. I want to help you GM. If you need me to help you learn how to GM better one-on-one, -on -one, that's fine too. Or in your game with your, with your peeps, um, I can try to jump in and help you as well. Whatever, I'm open to whatever because I, I obviously, to me, this is a ministry. It's a joyful thing. I love it. Um, I mean, I want to get this out there, go up against the RPG culture that's all pagan. I got more videos coming in, more ideas for great videos. Um, honing in on this targeting of the RPG culture and being offensive to everybody out there because, Christian, yes, we can put our faith in this game uh, as Christians. All right, so hopefully this is helpful. Again, I'm open to going through this again. Same thing. I don't care, and 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 running through you, through, running with through it with you again, uh, on one on one even, uh, or in a group or whatever. All right. In the game of life, roll holy dice.